What have we here? It looks like Susan is about to say goodbye to her steady, Johnny, before they both leave for college. It'll be all right, Susan. You're going to Queen Elizabeth, and I'm going to Harvard. Why, we'll both be in the United States of America. I can come and visit you every weekend. After squash, that is. <laughs> Harvard is great and all, but I think I need to focus on my schoolwork. If I'm going to graduate in three years with a degree in astrophysics, I simply can't waste my time on boys anymore. But, but, but I thought we were going to get married. Marriage as an institution is fundamentally flawed. I'd rather have a career. Susan has decided to break with tradition and get herself an education. Though not very many women do this, it is increasingly seen as a very good idea, especially if she would like to live past 30. Ah, look. Susan is almost completely unpacked and is very excited to meet her new roommates. Look, here they are. Hello, Susan. Delighted to meet you. I'm Beatrice. Sorry, but I've got a dash. I have to go play a concerto with the Philharmonic tonight. The original cellist broke his wrist in some freak fishing accident, and I was the only person they could find to memorize it under such short notice. Hello, Susan. I'm Jean. I'm so sorry if I wake you up early in the mornings. I usually have to get to training at 4 a.m. If our fencing team is going to win the Olympic gold for the second time, we have to make sure our arms are in practice. How charming. It looks like they're about to begin a conversation. Susan? Yes, Jean? What do you like to do? Why, Jean, how nice of you to ask. Despite being the youngest person to be nominated for an Oscar, I decided that charity work was much more rewarding than feature films. So I read every medical textbook I could find and spent last summer in Ghana performing minor surgeries on orphans. Oh, Susan, you're going to fit in so well here. Jean is right. Susan has never been happier and cannot wait to begin her first day as a rising monarch. Rise and shine, sleepyhead. You can't lead a multinational corporation in your pajamas. Oh, already prepared for the day, I see. Susan is ready to spend her day studying the Queen Elizabeth's core curriculum, the five fundamental foundations for favourable futures. Can you tell us what they are, Susan? Ah, you can show us. Let's see. Women's studies? Yes. Contemporary interpretations of culturally celebrated behaviour, etiquette, I recognise that one. Practical and theoretical knowledge, the ethics of housework. Strength, physical and mental, always important. And finally, what's this? An A- minus in reading. Susan, what's going on? Surely not. There must be some... Ah, it was a mistake. A Queen Elizabeth girl would rather eat her own hair than let her GPA slip below a 4.0. Even while in a coma, Anne maintains the 3.8. Mealtimes are a valuable opportunity to carry on stimulating intellectual discussions, even outside of the classroom. Ladies, the clock. Please give your closing remarks. Can we truly say, as Heidegger famously argued, all consciousness is consciousness of something? Once you recognize that existential and architectural space exist and have meaning, you are fundamentally obligated to acknowledge the political ramifications. But where can we say we are if we do not say that we are here? To engage in this conversation is to choose between empirical objectivism and cognitive idealism, and that simply cannot be done. To be continued. Hey, Beatrice. What's that you're reading? I should have known. Queen Elizabeth girls love to read. They also make sure to maintain a good balance between mental and physical health. Look how well Susan uses this book to improve her posture. Multitasking at its finest. Jolly good show, Susan. Queen Elizabeth girls love to entertain their peers. Never more. Never more. Wasn't Harriet marvellous? Her classmates certainly think so. 
Susan, I think there's someone at the door for you. Ah, yes. It's Betty, that sad case from your biology class. You said that you'd help her this evening. Hello, Susan. Hello, Betty. Though Betty looks absolutely dreadful, Susan is sure that she must have some good qualities deep inside and is determined to reveal them with a makeover. What's first, Susan? Almost finished? Wow! Betty's never looked so good or felt so confident. Thanks, Susan. Betty would like to know, how would a Queen Elizabeth woman behave with a boy? Fundamentally, she is a yes woman who knows how to say no. Hello, Betty. Hello, Johnny. So, Betty, I was thinking, would you want to go out with me? A new soda fountain just opened up right down the corner. Gee, Johnny, I don't know. Can you help her, Susan? Why, Johnny, I think that would be swell. <gasps> Saying yes to a date is quite all right. I wonder how it went. I had a swell time tonight, Johnny. Betty, I must be honest with you. You are one of the keenest girls I've ever taken out. Would you mind if I, say, kissed you? What do you think, Susan? Not tonight, Johnny. Good night. That, that's all right. Good night. That's right. Make him work for it. Good job, ladies. We hope very much that you've enjoyed learning about the young ladies of Queen Elizabeth College, USA. Look at them. Aren't they jovial and magnificent? Queen Elizabeth's. A choice you won't regret the next day.